Hey guys, what's going on? We have some more Jeffree Star drama, Jaclyn Hill. Ah, smells like 2016 all over again. All we're needing is Tati going missing, the James Charles scandal, with a little bit of depression, anxiety, and a hint of Botox. What's going on everyone? This is Rich Lux with the hottest celebrity news on YouTube. Let's talk about it. Okay, so for those of you who are not caught up on the drama, grab a snack. Come on back. You already know the tea with that. You come here for all the tea all the time. Ain't no scandal I can't handle. All right, let's talk, because I feel like we need to talk. So Jeffree Star has went on several podcasts while he was in New York City, living his best life. And when he did that, they kind of brought up a lot of videos and questions and stuff like that. So by now, if you've been following my YouTube channel the last couple of days, we've been documenting some of the things that he's been saying in individual videos. So check them out if you haven't already. But what I find interesting, right, is when they asked him about like Nathan Swan or like uh, how much money he spent on a guy or something like that or the most expensive thing. Something like, let me roll the clip. So my most expensive meal uh, for my ex, I rented out a private island in, in the French Polynesia, Bora Bora. Uh, and I had the locals cook <laughs> exclusively for us. God damn. And do a five course meal. So I think that was like, I don't know, like maybe a little casual 50,000 for a meal. Eat every bite. <laughs> and who was that for? A birthday. Uh, anniversary. Yeah. Okay, so was that some tea? I, I felt like a little microaggression when in that little you know, in that little drama. And shout out to Marva John for the receipts. I just, I have to say this, right? First of all, Jeffree Star, I thought it was so sweet that he was still thinking of Nathan Swan. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna verify something. And Jeffree Star, watch. <clears throat> when they asked him how much money did you spend? I think it was like $50,000. They rented out an island for like, what was it, anniversary or birthday or party or something. Just Jeffree Star and his boyfriend, Nathan Swan, like, and in the end of the clip, he kind of he kind of seems kind of like I don't know how to explain that emotion. Like if you guys know, like the verbiage he used at the very end. Maybe we can roll you that little clip again. The, the very end part where they, you know, he kind of throws. I don't know. Let me roll it. I was like, I don't know, like maybe a little casual fifty thousand for a meal. Eat every bite. <laughs> what was that for? A birthday, uh, anniversary. Yeah. Anniversary. Yeah. Okay. Was that like, kind of like how would you even ex explain that emotion? Not melancholy, not, not melancholy. It's so interesting, but wow, $50,000 to spend on a guy? Like you're gonna rent out, rent out an entire island for a guy and then the relationship does not work? I think I would be kind of like, girl, 50 grand, I could have did, I, I, girl, I could have did a lot with 50 grand. You know how many tacos I could buy with 50 grand? You know how many chicken nuggets you can get with $50,000? Girl. And I'm mind blown by that. Like I'm, I'm sitting here and I'm just kind of like, I, I can't believe that. I cannot believe 50 grand. Anyways, I, I, I'm harping on it. I can't believe it. So that's what he had to say. Nathan Swan has not responded to, to those accusations or anything like that. Of, as of the time of making this video, he hasn't responded to that. But I, I kind of help. I can't help but to feel like maybe Jeffree Star felt, felt some, feel, still feels. There may be a little bit of animosity, maybe a little bit of resentment, maybe a little bit of anger that the relationship didn't work and he poured a lot of time, effort, and money into it. Not about the money, really. It's the time that you can't get money. Jeffree Star can make the money back. It's the time that you, that that's one thing I get so frustrated about in life is the time that you put into people and you just don't get it back. And that's what you call it resentment is unfulfilled expectations is resentment. The way you can think about it is Nathan Swant was just maybe a bad investment. That's all you can you can call it a day. All right, we're gonna move on over to Jacqueline Hill because she's being called out again. Um, now, this was very hard for me to get these receipts because, you know, she blocked me, girl. Like, listen, I have no quarrel with Jacqueline Hill. I think she's fun. I think she's like a living the American dream. You know, here you have this girl who just started out in her bedroom and she built this empire of makeup and her million dollar houses and mansions and beautiful cars and stuff like that. It's in, It honestly is inspiring. And for her to just not want to hear online criticism about her shoes and hair and makeup and businesses, it's just kind of like, well, I mean, you're not untouchable. Maybe people can't take you down, but, but you're not untouchable. People are allowed to have, I don't know, something I said must just trigger her, but I haven't said anything about Jack and Hill that's not already have been said. And there are other people out there who said much, much worse than me. But anyway, we're gonna talk about Jack and Hill because I have the receipt. Okay, so this 
photo has been trending. Um, so Jaclyn Hill has this popular blanket, all right? And it's called like the, it's like a, this throw or cuddle with me throw, like, like cozy. I'm sure you guys know what this is. I am revealing my brand new brand, Cozy. <laughs> And for this brand, I really didn't want to name it something that had my name. I didn't want to make it like Comfort by Jacqueline. Jacqueline loves cozy. Like what? I wanted it to be different from Jacqueline Roxanne and Jacqueline Cosmetics. And I wanted to prove that I don't have to use my name in order to create good product and hopefully sell incredible luxury product. This is kind of me taking a chance not using my name, which is a big deal for me because I'm just being honest. Like when I use my name, it's going to go further. And it's one of her most popular items. It's sold out every time. So then uh, this girl, and I don't have the name but maybe y'all can let her know we're talking about her girl this girl right here she makes like a video unboxing Jaclyn Hill's robe there it is right there and and here's another photo right here because she kind of shows it in the video it says um like the name of the blanket but it doesn't say cozy it says Jaclyn Roxanne which if you guys know that's Jaclyn Hill's jewelry line so Jaclyn Hill took this blanket that was once under the cozy name with the stitching and now it has a stitching that says Jaclyn Hill Roxanne or Jaclyn Roxanne. Over on the website, the Cuddle Me, the Cuddle Me Throw, it's $140. I mean, the blanket is not cheap. It's $140 for a blanket that's supposed to be super buttery and just, you know, very much that, that whole gig. The Cuddle Me Throw by Jaclyn Roxanne. I have the receipts right here too. That whole thing, I'm, I'm kind of taken back because Jaclyn Hill did this Instagram story where she's saying there's a restock. And then when people clicked on the restock, um, they were kind of, they noticed the difference in the, the website and now you can see the tag. What I find very shocking is that Jaclyn Hill, who is this huge influencer with millions of followers, you're gonna launch something, I don't know, let's just say this, the Shard Tilbury Foundation, and you click on it, it's, and it's called Shard Tilbury Foundation, and then people like it and buy it, and then you say we gotta restock, this, so you click the link and now it's it's under Charlotte Tilbury skincare. And you're like, well, why is the foundation under skincare? Why isn't the foundation under the cosmetics? It's the same thing. With with no caution, no explanation for the rebrand of the name from Cozy to Jacqueline Roxanne. No explanation at all. And these are the people who afford you your Birkin bags and your houses and your G-Wagons and all these luxurious things that you have. And you owe no explanation. I just find that whole thing very interesting. The fact that Jaclyn Hill cannot address why there was a rebrand of one of her most popular items on her website. I don't understand it. It doesn't make any sense to me. Was there legal involved? Was it too much uh, drama surrounding Kaylin Nicholson and that whole cozy scandal? You know, was there too much bad press or bad publicity? Is this a way of you sweeping it under the rug? Yet she was qu so quick to address the jewelry line scandal with Lana Jewelry, but she doesn't address the Lana Cozy thing. Maybe it all comes down to ego, arrogance, and pride. The fact that she doesn't want to address these things. But I think that people would, would respect her more if Jaclyn Hill just literally Girl, she could sit in her G-Wagon, have her hair in a bun on the way to Target, and she's like, it's her camera. She's like, you guys, let me put my camera on my G-Wagon. Listen, I'm in the Target lot. I'm in the parking lot of Target right now, and I just got, I just get on my car, and I'm getting on my phone, and I was just seeing all these messages, and it's just really, it's, it's overwhelming, the response to this Kayla Nicholson and the, and the cozy thing. And you know, I just want to apologize. And this is not, this is not how I want it to go down. This is not what it looks like. And, and I, I'm going to try to make it right. And even though I'm going to try, people are still going to, people are still going to, you know, say things about me and the drama channels are going to do this and do that. But I just at least want to attempt to make it right. So that way I could just feel better about myself or sleep better at night. And also just make things right with the universe, in, even in the smallest capacity. So I'm going to take my cozy brand, that blanket, and I'm gonna post it over here because something, something, something. And I wanna issue an apology and I'm sorry if I hurt you, blah, 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 blah. And to Kayla Nicholson, I would love to talk to you on the phone and help you with a business plan or something, or offer you a job. Girl, who knows, girl, who, who knows? Cause this is too much, it's too much, it's too much. But just be open and honest and transparent with your audience about what's going on. I don't think Jaclyn Hill is trying to be a sneaky, low down, dirty snake, trying to just make more money in the house. Maybe, but maybe not. But she should just be like, let me make it right. And if this is her way of making it right, she should at least address it and say something about it. Oh girl, look at this little Harry Potter brush. It's like a wand. Oh, 
Love it so much. Oh, uh, I got that Tamu. Not sponsored, although I should be. Um, I don't know, but that's just how I feel about it. I just, I don't understand why she can't just get on camera and just address it. But anyways, who am I, girl? Who am I? Let me know what you think about all that drama in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, love you so much.